Hi everybody, it's Diana with Stamping with Dye. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Dyes Shorts. And I have a fun new kit to share with you. I haven't even opened it up because um, I've been so busy, but I can't wait to show it to you. Um, so I am going to um, also go over the classes that I have coming up. I did have the, I have the registrations out so you can sign up for those. And I have a pretty card to show you. I should show you the other ones too. I'll have to get them out of my cupboard. Um, so if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So today is the 17th of March and this is a dye short. So I'm going to try to keep it short, but I do have a kit to show you. So it might take a little bit longer. So I'm going to um, spin the camera. So just close your eyes for a second while I get adjusted. And then I'll also grab those cards. So before I show you the cards that I've got, um, I want to go over the a few things here. All right. So I have my the March class and I so I have just a couple of these left. So this is the um, share a milkshake bundle. So I just have two of these left. They're ready to go. They will go out Monday. So you have the die, the stamp set, and then all the supplies that you need to make um, your projects. And then you'll get a uh, private PDF and a video, you know, so you can make your stuff along with me. And then I announced my April and May class. So April, I have all this stuff here. So April is the adorable owls. Now you will be doing different projects than you did if you did my spring social. So if you, um, cause I've had a few people sign up that already did the spring social because they love the owls and the ad adorable owl stamp set is a free gift to you. Um, you don't have to take it. So I've had a few of you say, I already have it. I don't need it. Um, that way someone else that doesn't have it, you know, can, can um, also do the class. So you just need to let me know, um, but you do need to have your own stamp set in order to do it. And, but what you're getting for the class is you're getting these five sets of Stampin' Blend. So you have the Tahitian, you have medium, medium deep, smoky slate and gray granite. And you also get a white gel pen. So that's what's coming with the class. And then you'll do five projects. And then it includes a party postage, PDF, all that good stuff that happens whenever I do the class in the mail. And that is the April one. The class fee is 76 and that includes, you know, the stuff I mentioned. And then, um, so registration has started and it will end April the 5th unless I sell out before them. Um, because I have just a limited amount of the Adorable Owls stamp set. And then the packets will go out April 17th. So, um, so let me know if you are interested in that class as well. All right, let me get this off my desk. All right. And then my May class is a super cute Rhino Ready Bundle. And so that's... Um, the die and the stamp set. So you need both to do the class, but I do have um, two different ways to pay. So you can do 80 and that includes the bundle. So that includes the stamp set and the die and then the five projects and all the PDF and all the other stuff I say each time. Um, or maybe you already ordered it um, and you still wanna do the class, you can do 54 and that just includes the stamp set. But you do need the die because nothing will be stamped or die cut it out that uses this die. But that's just another way to offer it just in case, um, you know, you have already ordered it. Because anytime you can just switch out, right? Same with the Stampin' Blends for the Adorable Owls. If you already have those Stampin' Blends, you can just say, oh, I want um, crumb cake instead of the gray granite. But just know that the, um, the colors I'm going to be using are... Um, the ones that I'm sending to you as well as some other ones. But anyway, so just let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, this one, um, registration has started. Um, and then I do offer this one to my team because um, 
if if they want to do the class they can get these on their own i don't have it for my team for the other one because um that was a stamp set i only have a limited amount so it's a little hard to do that one for the team so i'm just offering um this one and then they can do 25 and then they just get the guts and then they'll have to order this on their own so if you have any questions holler at me i know i just i blabbed a lot right there um and it ends april the 21st or when i sell out and then these packets will go out may the 15th so a little bit earlier in the month because we um have we're going on holiday in may all right, so let me get these off my desk. All right, so let me show you these cards. So I did post it on my blog and Facebook, but this is the card I got from Stampin' Up. But I thought, you know what, I should show, because I can show it in a little bit more detail. So this is the belly band that was around the big envelope that I have up on my cover, but it was a big envelope. And this is the belly band that was slid on there. And just look at all the detail. I mean, did they know me or what? I mean, it's just beautiful. And then here is the card. Oh my gosh. I had to put it away because I was drooling all over it. But just like all the embossing and the and the stitched and folders and they used my my favorite dsp that i've been using so much of that gingham and just look at all this and they love to um do embossing like heat embossing but they use the sunflowers you know i'm like i love sunflowers all right i want to make sure i don't cover that up all right so you open this up and then this is on the inside here and then this folds over and then the little poster and I'll note there but look how cute so then there's this little guy here and then it folds like this and I can take my belly band but look at there's even like a little tiny one here so I just love it so I have it up in my cupboard so that I can always stop drooling on it and keep it nice and then my friend marcy from canada um we have a facebook group that's over the border um so there's um canadians on there and an american and there's probably other ones on there but um so she sent me a card too so look at how pretty the envelope and then it has a little belly band on there so it slides off and the same thing it's got a little personal note in there so i just want to keep that private so look at this paper so she used that new paper that let me get my envelope all right so this is that um that online exclusive paper but look at it it looks gorgeous and she splattered she loves her wink of stella so she splattered that on there but so that's marcy so if you need a demonstrator in canada that's who you want to go to and then you just slide the little belly band on here so that's up in the cupboard too and look at what she sent with it she had a personal gnome made for me you're one in a million so my friend Rhonda she is in Vail Arizona and for Lola gnomes Lola is her cat and she does these cute little gnomes i have them all over the house i'm sure you see them in the back on my shelf but look how cute so marcy had um lola make me my own little gnome and she is perfect and then i so there was these little charms on there and then there was extra charms so i just added them to there but isn't she so cute so she just sits up on my shelf all right so and then Virginia look at Virginia she sent me this cute so the same thing she's got a look <coughs> excuse me I'm so excited she sent me one too and <coughs> there's a personal note in there as well so I'll just kind of keep it you know it's not like there's anything bad but you know it's a personal note I just want to keep it to myself um so anyway look at this cute card so it's just so fun and thank you so much virginia with all the bling oh i love it so see it goes like this but anyways so that will go up in my cupboard as well so those are i just had to share those all right so off to the table oh and don't forget i forgot this this i have a variety of colors this goes with the with the um milkshake class all right 
So let's get to the kit. Don't forget, this is going to be a long one because I haven't even started the card. This is my house code for March <coughs> and the goodies for March. Behind me, you can see the guts. All right, so let's get to this kit so I can let you get on with your day. All right, because I haven't even opened it. All right. So it is, so this is one of the kits. It's, it's set up very similar to the paper pumpkins. So if you get a paper pumpkin, it's it's very similar because it's like all inclusive. Um, what's different with these ones though, is you get a block because it's not a subscription kit where the paper pumpkin, you know, you get your block with your, when you first start your subscription and then you use that same block each month. But this one is a little different. So these are online kits. So it's all-inclusive, meaning there's a block in there so that you have everything you need to make the kit. But, oh my gosh, I like, I just went cuckoo when I saw these ones. All right, I ordered extra. All right, but look at these really fun cards. Now, I'm not going to make all of them because I want to keep this video not too too long all right so the spot so like a, like the paper pumpkins you have you know it does have a spot but um i like to use my full pad and we'll see if i need to ink that up all right and but it's just got all this all these um thingies it's called kaleidoscope oh my god hang on a minute kaleidoscope let me get a box with a name on it Kaleidoscope. It's called Colorful Kaleidoscope. So just make sure you're ordering the English. Because I ordered a couple and it came and they were French. I'm like, oops, I picked the wrong number. But I'm just using the pieces, so it's not a big deal. I didn't have to return it. Um, but it's 161804 for the English. So just make sure whenever you're ordering online that you're picking the right um, language. All right. I was just so excited to order it. I didn't even pay attention. So that's bad. All right. So anyway, so let's stop my blabbing and let's get the stuff going here. So we've got some envelopes. So we have, oh, the envelopes are cool too. <laughs> All right. So we have one, two, and three. So super fun, and it goes all the way in. Not all the way down, but enough. So if you want to um, cut your envelopes up, if you like to do alternatives, and then just use our regular envelopes, you totally can. All right, so I need that. So look at this. I'm not a gold person, but this is just a little bit of gold. It's not like in your face gold. It's almost like a, um, would it be champagne gold? I don't know. All right, so there's one so cool it's like that toy remember when you would go you would have that toy and you would look through it and then you would turn it and it would spin and then you would see all these colors that's what this is like kaleidoscope all right so we need so you have you know so you may have several of these blocks if you do these kits and that's okay i mean they come in handy. So you've got your little um, dimensionals. And look at these really cool gold gems. All right. And then we have these pieces. Now just be careful because these are delicate. So I know I'm going to need a pink one. So there's a pink one. Or it's probably blush. Pink, white, and green. All right. Ooh, and look at, we even got these. Oh my. I probably should have made one of these before I started the video. Because look at, we've got a bunch of these long, strippy dimensionals. All right. In the stamp set. So I need thank you, thank you, thank you. Just because you're special and wishing you. So let's see here. 
we have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I'm just using my own blocks. I have blocks everywhere. So just like I have said before, when you get a new photopolymer, so this is thank you, thank you, thank you. What is the other one I say? Just because, just because, just because, and wishing you. All right. Um, this is brand new. So see, I this is the first time I've used it. So there's a little bit of a film just from when the photopolymer goes to the machine and it's it's this really, really cool way that they make them. And it leaves kind of a film. I mean, I hate to say film because that sounds gross, but it leaves just a little bit. Um, hang on a minute. I've been doing taxes, so my mind is like going, Rah. okay, it leaves not quite a film, but just sometimes it, it doesn't want to accept the ink, you know, right from the beginning. So what I'd like to do is I take my Versamark pad, and you don't have to do this each time. You just have to do it when you first, first get it. So I'm just going to ink this up, and then I'm just going to go like this, and that just gets off that Versamark. But what it's doing is if there's any little bits of residue or anything, on the photopolymer it just kind of cleans it off to see how it's sticky and then when you ink it up it's going to accept your ink better so here's my gray granite now gray granite isn't a soup well i mean it's dark ish so let's see here so wishing you so see how nice it inked it just kind of um I don't even know the word, it, but it just kind of gets ready for it to take the ink. Okay, so that looks good. So let's bring this over, and I'm just going to flip this over, because sometimes I think the lines mess with my camera. So let's see here. We need to stamp on here. So I'm just going to do one. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of cards because then I want one of these just because I want to keep it short all right short and sweet and we need this as well and um, if you've done any of the kits it's just all it has just like a um, pictures so that way, you know, if you um, live in another country, because we have demonstrators all over the place, and that way the kits, um, you know, you kind of don't have to read. You just look at the pictures. All right. So I'm just inking this off to the side. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So this is kind of a fun little greeting. Just because, and I like these kits because also I can show you, and then if you like them, you can go, oh yeah, I want to get that. Um, or the paper pumpkins are a subscription kit. And sometimes I get mine late. I shouldn't say sometimes, usually I do. And by then, you know, you can't get it. So this way I like these. Now these also probably do have um, a wall supplies last kind of feeling as well. Um, but at least you know what you're going to get, you know, compared to the paper pumpkin. It's like a surprise, right? It's like Christmas morning. What am I getting? All right. Unless you buy your own present, <laughs> then you know. Okay. So we have that. We have this and this. So let me go to here. So I'm thinking we also have these. And you know what I do with these. I use my glue dot on a roll instead. Okay, so we have number two. So we want this and the blue one. And let me just use my bone folder. So this is going to be... These are going to be an easy kit to make because what's where you're getting all this gorgeousness is from all these layers and stuff. All right, so this is why they give these because they want you to put um, the strips around and they're suggesting 
that you put a little dimensional here. So in the biggish areas, because you don't want to see it here and over here. So this is going to support this fun little piece. And so that's going to do that, give you that definition. All right, so hang on. So peel this off. And then, so one goes down here. So just kind of keep it to the edge so you don't, don't see it when you flip it over. All right. Now we also have these in the catalog. And I've shown them before in my drawer here. So we also sell these in the catalog and they're just foam adhesive strips. So they're great. So you can trim them, you can do, you know, some inch with them. And so it just gives you like more of an area so that you're not having to put, you're not having to cut, you know, your dimensionals. You see me cut my dimensionals a lot when I want an edge piece or whatever. So I'm just trying to put them on the edges close as possible. Eat. So here as well, Oop, and this one I'm going to trim because I put off, I didn't put it in the center, All right, and here. So these are very cool. So you can trim them. You'll have extra, I'm sure, when you get done. All right, and they've got a good height, height to them. All right. There we go. Just push them down. All right. So then this is going to come back over top. It kind of reminds me of um, a dream catcher. You ever seen the dream catchers? And then I'm not sure what. Um, and this is going to be bad. I'm not sure because I don't know exactly like who makes them um but they're just beautiful but this what it this is what kind of reminds me of so you have this so this keeps the edges up and then these little ones in here keeps this up but look how cute look how amazing that is oh my gosh so that's so cool and then we have our thank you thank you thank you which just goes on with dimensionals so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put my dimensionals on here oh and look at i stamped it like this instead of like this but that's okay all right so i'm going to go here but I want to keep them, I want to keep it up. So let's see here. But see how great this is? So I'm going to put a dimensional here. And this is so delicate. And down here because it's close to this, so it's not gonna let that um, lay down. All right, and then I'll put my little grating. So next time I stamp, I'll stamp it the right direction. Because see, I was supposed to stamp it with the point down, but that's okay. All right, so super cool. And then, oh, then you want these gold things, and you're gonna put those around here. Alrighty. Alrighty. So where is it going? It's going here. So one, two. So I probably should have put this on first before I put my grading. Three, four, five. And six. Ooh, it's an even amount. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. Ooh, it's an even amount. You know me and my even amounts. I'm not a big fan of even amounts. But you don't necessarily notice it that it's even here because it's just this beautiful decor. 
But anyway, so there's the first one. So what do you think? The kit is so cute. All right, so let's do the pink one before the video gets too long. Love that. So then this goes with this envelope. Nice. All right, so now we have the pink one. And that has the gray card. And I'm not doing anything on the inside with these right now. I'm just like, just showing you the kit. Just showing you how quick it is. All right, so we have this. And then we want this pink one. And this is the just because. And this is going to go up here. So you're kind of not seeing all of that. All right. And then flip it over. All right. So this time the dimensionals are going in the center of these. Let me see if you can see it. Yeah, you can kind of see it. I don't want to see it. So. I might trim mine. I'm going to trim them just so they're a little smaller. Probably nobody would even notice it. Oh, you know why? Oh, Diana. I'm I'm the kind of person that makes something. So I'm going to put these here because we're going to put the gold. So that's going to hide it. Um, I usually try to make something before I look at the directions. That's bad. That's bad. All right. That's why I usually try to um, make at least one card before I do the kits, but not always. Okay, so this is going to go down here. And then we want three up top. Oops, I've got too many there. All right, so we want three. But I'm going to trim and space these out a little bit just so that my sides have a little support. So I'll put one in the center and nobody sees these anyways. And then the same thing here, just so that these edges have a little bit of support because see they have you going boop 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 and I just want my edges to have a little bit of something something all right so let's peel so it does fold the paper a little bit because the strips bend a tiny little bit get off of there so instead of all those little um dimensional backings that are usually all over your house if you're like me and yeah you have all these long strips all right we've got a lot of different adhesive ways to use like these strips we have dimensionals we have glue dots we have adhesive sheets which are great because you can run it right through the cut and emboss and then your your um whole thing has a glue on it. All right, so let's see. This is going to go on here. So just give it a push. Cute. All right, so this is what I meant. Now that gold is going to go over there, so you're not going to see that, um, that, that little bit of dimensional back there. Cute. And I'm not a gold person, but this is a pretty gold. I'm a silver and white gold person. All right, so that's cute. And then our just because, now the just because also has this strip here. So don't forget that. And that's going to go on with dimensionals and this is just going to get glue glue dotted on there so i'm just putting it down the center so 
that it will this will catch it so that goes on here this is pretty it's like um, knight of navy i believe all right and then we're going to put our dimensionals on here so i don't by accident put them in the wrong spot all right and then that goes on here super quick so look how pretty that one is don't you think whoever gets these cards is going to be so impressed so see by um spreading these out it, it keeps those edges you know up a little bit all right so this envelope is this one and then we have one more and i'll let you go so i can keep this not too long okay so now we have this one and did it say it usually does hang on a second what colors these go with this goes with coordinating colors bermuda bay calypso coral gold gray granite knight of navy and petal pink and that's the colors that it coordinates with and then it just shows you, you know, all the things you need for that card. All right, so let's go to this one. So, of course, we're going to do the Wishing You Magical Birthday. And this one has a little gold strip. All right, so we need this one. And then we have a diagonal piece. So just make sure you put in your dimensionals on the right side. So we need to flip it this way. All right. So we want some more strips. And so we need four strips and a dimensional. And this one is only using one of the gold um, piece blings. But you could use whatever bling you have at home. You might have something else at home you want to use, right? Like if you go, oh, I'm going to send this card to Sandra and she likes diamonds or something. I'm just going to trim this. Um, you might use some bling from your, from your stamping stash. All right. Just push that on good. But just be careful. These are, you know, really delicate. Can you imagine all the little pieces when they were making these cards? Because it's, I think it's called laser etching or laser cutting. I think that's how they do this. But can you imagine somewhere there's all these little pieces that came out of that paper? All right. So this goes just on here. And then I'm trying to make this be here. So that kind of helps you visually like look at your edges but then you know try to bring it down on that as well oh and I forgot to put a dimensional there I forgot uh oh uh oh it might be a little saggy in the center okay because I forgot I was supposed to put one underneath there but it's not too bad I don't think anyone would, would, would notice. Okay, so then we have this gold piece. So like we did the other one, I'm going to put my dimensionals or my glue dots down the center of my greeting so that it will stick to my gold. So it doesn't have a whole lot sticking out of there, that gold. All right, and then we'll do the same thing. So I'm going to put my dimensionals on here so that I'm putting them in the right place. Let's see, what would it look like down here? See, it would look cute down there too, but I'm going to do what it says to do. So that goes there. And on here. Super cute. So there's that one, and then it has, oh, I did the wrong envelope. Hang on a minute. This is this one's envelope, and this is this one's envelope. All right, so let me show you these three cards. 
with my messy desk as usual. I finally bought a battery hand vac or whatever the heck. And that is keeping my desk much cleaner, but I'm not gonna run it during the video. All right, so here are the really cute cards with their envelopes. And like I said, this is the Kaleida. Look how it changed the camera because of the colors. All right, what did I say it was? The colorful kaleidoscope. But aren't they so pretty? Oh my gosh, I think whoever you send these to are gonna be so impressed with you. They're gonna be like, oh my gosh, did you make that? And you'll go, yes, I did. So anyways, all right, so let me say, see you later, alligator. Ooh, nice and crooked. All right, so, um, so yeah, so maybe you didn't notice there was that kit. I'm trying to think if I mentioned it on my blog or not. I think I did, but I might not have, but now I definitely will. Um, so hopefully you like that. Um, if there's ever anything you want me to share, let me know and I will try to do my best. Um, have a great weekend and I will see you Monday for my mimeograph Monday with a twist. That'll be three o'clock Arizona time, same time, same channel. Don't forget Arizona doesn't change their clocks. Um, so if you did usually watch my video at a certain time, then that will be changed. I'm like looking around because a light has gone out and it's, there's dark somewhere. <laughs> so anyways, um, have a great weekend and I will see you Monday. Thanks so much for joining me this week. I really appreciate it. Bye for now.